Good morning, Ada Sparks here with the word hope. This weekend we'll be celebrating a little bit of Christmas with my family. I know it's early, but it's just due to a bunch of scheduling conflicts. Well, part of our Christmas decorations this year are some cute little ascots that we got for our dogs. So let me show you Elliot's. Hang on, you've got to read the label. Can you see it? It says naughty. And perfectly, perfect timing. Gretchen has come over here. Gretchen, can you sit? Sit. Oh, she's a hot mess. Well, hers says nice. And she's not being very nice. I really should have switched them. Anyway. So this year they have naughty and nice on their little ascots and they're so cute and as i was putting it on them i was thinking okay now just because i'm giving you this label does not mean that you need to be naughty all the time and then i got to thinking about labels and the labels that people put on us labels that we just cannot seem to get away from and i thought about the label that rahab had in the bible you know, in the Bible, we hear about how Rahab, when the spies came over into Jericho to, you know, check out the land, the promised land that they had been promised, you know, um, she professed a faith in God. She professed how powerful he was, and that's not exactly what they were expecting. And so when she escaped with him and became part of the Israelite nation, even years and years later, she never lost that title. When we see her lined up with all of the heroes of faith, in Hebrews 11, verse 31, it says, By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not, when she had received the spies with peace. Here she is in the Hall of Fame, being held up, with all of these other incredible people like Moses and Jacob and Joseph and Isaac and Sarah and Abraham. There's Rahab. And she's still being called a harlot. Because sometimes our labels never leave us. But rather than looking at, at it as a bad thing, we can look at it as a testimony. And sometimes we just need to see it as this is where God has brought us from. And so whatever label you might still be carrying around, rather than carrying it with shame, carry it with pride and say, look what God has done. And be wise, not afraid.